I do assemblage art, I find uh, all the ceramics from uh, thrift stores, yard sales, flea markets, estate sales. I found these angels, they had horns in their mouths. I knew it could work into something. I found this uh, Hope liquor bottle. It's actually a, a Jim Beam. I think it was Jim Beam or some type of scotch. And I found all these uh, cherubs as we're holding these sheep and uh, kind of created this image of holding the mirror up to the Catholic Church. And, and uh, it's called uh, All Good Boys Go to Heaven, AKA the sheep get slaughtered. So, you know, you take out of it what you, what you want. This piece is called Get Out of Your Own Head. And basically we are plopped on this planet from total darkness. And once we land, you know, the uh, media, the people, the teachers, the peers just start putting things in our head, thoughts and opinions and whatnot. And we uh, kind of work through everything from the church to schooling. And once you get to a certain age, you realize that much of the stuff that fills your head is, is bullshit. And then we spend money and time and whatnot to uh, get it out of our heads. So it's just trying to, once you uh, be uh, your conditioned to think a certain way, the rest of your life you're trying to uncondition yourself. And this is kind of based on that. Everything's built on wood, so this cross is built on four by fours. And I was collecting, and I was seeing that I was getting a lot of Christmas stuff, and a lot of religious stuff. And I thought, man, you know, let me put it on a cross. Cause a cross is something that triggers people. You know, they automatically have an opinion on crosses. So I, I realized that Santa and Satan are anagrams of one another. So they're spelt with the same letters. And so I said, I put a horns up here, and then I realized it was Santa usurping Jesus Christ's birthday, turning into capitalism. And that's basically what the, the holiday is really about. So this is called Lucifer's Alias. I get the pieces and then I uh, smash them. I either use a, a chisel, like a, a wood chisel and smash them. Or sometimes if I need a precision cut, I'll just use a pair of uh, like uh, pinchers or wire cutters, and it's it's kind of a it's kind of a soothing uh, thing to be able to smash stuff, and then when I smash it and I recreate it, give it new life. Like these things aren't dead yet; they just come out and they're reborn into new things. This one's built on an old toolbox, a wooden toolbox. If you, if you see, if you flip it on the sides, is where the handle comes in. And this is made out of uh, the, it's a delf, it's the type of ceramic, the style with the blue, which almost gives it a, like a regal look. So it's an interesting mix between the smashing of it and the realness of it. Gives it that competing look. This piece is called uh, Silent Spring. It's a nod to uh, Rachel Carson, who wrote a book uh, called Silent Spring in the early 60s. And that's what led to the, uh, the creation of the EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, because it was all about PCP and DDT and how it was destroying all the, the, the bugs and the, killing all the birds and it would be a silent spring because you wouldn't hear the birds chirping anymore. All these box ones, they're, you know, I dumpster dive, so I find, you know, usually they're made out of uh, drawers or uh, boxes that are discarded or I just make them out of, uh, you know, scrap wood that I get out of dumpster. This one's called, uh, who are you calling a bitch bitch? And it's made out of dog whistles. So this is just more of a whimsical piece. It's called, uh, My Mother Was a Duck and My Father Enjoyed Fucking Ducks. So what's your story? Everybody has a story. This piece is called, Do My Tits Make My Head Look Big? 
you know, kind of like uh, body image stuff. So, kind of playing off of the ridiculousness of it, and how, uh, you know, we shouldn't really give a fuck about it.